Okay, here's my take on the Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. Every real boxer knows or have an idea how this fight is going to turn off. In my opinion, this is going to be a quick fight. Ryan Garcia does not have the chin for Tank Davis. Not taking anything away from Ryan Garcia. Yeah, he's won his rounds and, you know, he's pretty quick. You know, he got his little thing that he does. But when you sit back and observe Ryan Garcia, there's a lot of weaknesses, a lot of open uh, points that Tank Davis is going to expose. Um, it's going to be a quick fight. You can look in Ryan Garcia's eyes and see, to me, he's like a kid in a candy store. He's what a lot of young people or my nine-year-old granddaughter would say, he's a pick me. Pick me, 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 me. Now, I recall seeing Mike Tyson's podcast. And this is where all this started. Mike Tyson had Ryan Garcia on the phone. And Ryan Garcia called out Tank Davis. Tank Davis agreed to it. And like a little kid, Ryan Garcia was jumping up and down and was talking about what he was going to do. Now... It's easy to watch Tank's fights and say, well, you were touched. This person was able to touch you. But yet at the same time, the person that touched him was knocked out. You can't look at him and think that you're going to do the same thing. Every man has his own style. And... Sitting back observing Ryan Garcia style, he's had it for a quick career in. I think that Tank Davis is going to hit him so hard without even trying to the point where it's going to do some severe damage to Ryan Garcia. I'm sure they got insurance policies. But Ryan Garcia does not have the chin. He's got a glass jaw, in my opinion. Okay, so I think that he's gotten himself into something that uh, right now he can't get out. And no doubt after Tank Davis beat Ryan Garcia, of course, they're going to come back and say, well, he cheated. This is what he did. He did this. He did that. There's going to be an excuse. That's how Oscar De La Hoya works. He's going to come back with some type of excuse. Okay. Right now, they already have the excuse when it comes to the weight. So, you wanted this fight, Ryan Garcia. There's no need for you to complain. Now, I watched the press conference. It was cute, right? And they ribbed on each other. They have to promote a fight. But a lot of y'all forget that when Mayweather, Canelo, everybody that Mayweather fought, the same tactics were used. They promoted the other guy, but yet they knew Mayweather was going to win. Okay, and I'm not saying that the guys that Mayweather fought were bums. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying that they have to promote a fight, so they have to make it exciting. And no doubt it might end up being an exciting fight. Because if Tank Davis had a turn down the fight with Ryan Garcia, they would have said that Tank, just like they did with Floyd Mayweather, they would have said that Tank is ducking and dodging. He's afraid. So, Tank, you might as well just go ahead, get it out of the way, get paid. This is an easy fight for you. 
And even after this easy fight, Tank is going to say, like, he's a good fighter. He hit a little hard. He's going to compliment him. That's sportsmanship, right? So um, Ryan Garcia is going down like a sack of potatoes, but somewhere in the back of my mind, Tank's punch is going to do some damage to him. The last couple of fighters that Tank fought had some damage done to them, okay? Ryan Garcia is like a little kid, man. He's a pick-me. Pick me, me next, me next, me this, me this. I want to do this. I want to go in there and knock you out. He's got his little dreams in his mind. And, and I think in Ryan's mind, I think at some level he believes that. But at the same time, when he looked in Tank's eyes, he saw something different. Ryan saw something different. So don't get sick on that day, Ryan to try to get out the fight or try to extend it. Again, that's what, you know, that's what your promoter usually do, right? So I think this is going to be, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a quick fight. And Tank will probably more than likely fill him out a little bit because of all the hype that people talk about Ryan Garcia. And Tank will probably lay back a little bit. And then once he, once he figures him out, which is not going to be, which is not going to take that long, but once he figured him out, the fight is basically over with because Ryan is talking a lot of junk, man. He's talking a lot of smack, and boxers are supposed to do that. That's what they're supposed to do, but he's talking a lot of smack, and Tank need to go in there and put him away quickly, right? No question in mind. Tank needs to leave no question in mind. He can't give them enough enough leverage to say that he cheated and they stopped the fight too early, you know. Um, he still had some juice. You know, he was on his feet. His hands were up. And then they're going to blame the referee. So that's what De La Hoya does, right? But Tank is going to have to go in there and put him to put him out. Make it that there is no question in mind that Ryan Garcia is knocked out. So that's my take on the fight. It's going to be quick uh, in Tank's favor. And every real boxer knows the outcome of this fight. You can see it just as clear as day. Unless, of course, Ryan get a lucky hit. But I don't think that's going to happen.